We had rain across the viewing area today and that won't end until later tonight. In fact, we do have a flood watch in effect for Knox, Stark and Bureau counties until one o'clock tonight. And that's because we've seen close to two inches in these areas. So of course, any of those flooded roadways that you come across, turn around, do not drown. And we are going to have an end to that rain. We will still have partly cloudy conditions by the time we reach your Saturday night at nine o'clock, but we are going to eventually continue to clear those cl clouds out and even see a mostly clear day all throughout your Sunday. Mostly clear even by your Monday morning. Now come your Monday afternoon, then more clouds and rain will come. As you can see, this is your 2:30 hour real near the Quad Cities and further to the northeast as well near Sterling and Clinton. That's where we can expect some showers for your afternoon on Monday. Now tonight we're going to drop to 39 degrees, so a little cooler, but those lighter winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. And tomorrow we're going to reach those 60s yet again. We're talking 62 degrees by the 4 o'clock hour. Sunny skies through the afternoon, only reaching those upper 50s come your 8 o'clock hour. And for our Sunday, we are going to be dry, mostly sunny. It'll be a great day to head out because we do have rain chances Monday through Wednesday. But we are getting that return to the 60s this week, even seeing 70 degrees on my 7-day forecast for you. You're seeing close to 70 on Tuesday. Rain chances again Monday afternoon, and we are talking thunderstorm possibilities Tuesday and Wednesday and then we're back to 70 degrees by your Friday.